right, right on folks, John Crane here. And today I'm taking down this cedar tree behind me that died recently. The tree's all brown, kind of a fire hazard right now. But one of the first steps in taking down a tree like this, especially in a residential area here by the house, is figuring out how tall the tree is. And if I take this tree down, where the tip of that tree is gonna land. Of course, I don't want it to go across the fence and into the neighbor's house, something like that. Now to figure out the height of this tree, it's actually a real simple method. Now what I have here is a Biltmore stick, but I'm actually not gonna use the Biltmore scale to figure out the height of this tree. You can actually use any stick. You could even use a rake to do this method. Now I have a stake here on the ground. I already figured out how tall this tree is, where it's going to land, and I'm gonna show you how I did that with just a simple stick. So what you wanna do is you wanna find a stick. A yard stick is a useful tool to find the height of the tree. So what you wanna do is take your yard stick and take your arm, hold it outright, straight out from your body, and then you take the yard stick and you put it right up to your eye. And then you pinch your fingers on the stick now the length from my eye to the tip of my fingers falls right at 30 inches. Now this might be different for you. It might fall at 20, might fall at 25, might fall at 35. But for me, it is 30 inches. And then once you get the 30 inches, pinch that with your fingers right at 30. And you wanna hold this straight up. All right, so now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna turn, face the tree, that I want to measure. I'm just gonna pause this and say, it is good to close one eye when you're doing this. I'm holding, pinching the stick at 30 inches. Now with that 30 inch mark, what I wanna do is line up that 30 inch mark with the bottom, with the trunk of the tree, and then the tip of the stick with the top of the tree. And to line those two marks up, 30 inches with the bottom, and the tip of the stick with the top of the tree. I'm gonna have to walk back and forth until I get that lined up with the top and the bottom. You see here now, I have the 30 inch mark pinched and that's lined up with the bottom of the tree. And you can see the tip of my stick is lined up with the top of the tree. So now I'm gonna turn and look at where my feet are positioned on the ground and make a mark on the ground. All right, so I already did this earlier and I know right here where I have the stake in the ground, that is where everything lined up. So I know when I fall this tree, the top of that tree is gonna land approximately right in this spot. And you can see here that we are right at 78 feet. All right, let's put this method to the test and we'll take this tree down and see if the tip of the tree falls right where I have this stake hammered into the ground.
look at our marker here. We hit this thing right on the money. We got the height almost exactly right. You can see the top of the tree here is past our marker. But if we go look at the butt of the tree, the butt of the tree jumped off the stump a little bit. So there's some distance. So we hit this mark almost exactly. So that method with the stick is just amazing. All right, you can see here now, by looking at the stump and looking at the butt of the log, that when our tree fell, it jumped forward a little bit. So it went past where we put that height marker on the ground. So you can see how amazingly accurate this stick method is by holding out any stick. You could use a rake, a yard stick, anything you want. Such a cool technique. I'm actually kind of sad taking this tree down. This is one of my dad's favorite trees. This is on my parents' property here, Bainbridge Island, Washington. This was a beautiful tree. I think last summer here, heavy drought kind of condition, tree dried up and died. So too bad to take this tree down. It's such a beautiful tree. Pretty cool though. This all went very smoothly today. It was great to have my friend Chris over here. Me and Chris years ago, we went to a forestry school together for taking care of timberland. I used to have a, a big piece of property cutting down timber. Chris still has a lot of timberland, does a lot of logging. So this was great to have his assistance here today, taking down this tree. Just everything went so nice and smooth and uh, glad to bring you guys along, taking this tree down, showing you the stick method. All right, I hope you guys are doing great. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you all soon. All right, right on. All right, I was just counting the rings here on this tree. So it looks to be about 55 years old. So 1968, this was just a little tiny seedling here in the Pacific Northwest. Top knot. <laughs>